I am going to be explaining how to make a jet in Stormworks. So yeah, let's get into it. So first, I'm going to build a testing platform. Oh, hold on, let me clear these out. So have the testing platform. So the main components of a jet is the intake, the compressor, combustion chamber, turbine, we've got two turbines, and exhaust. Okay, so the intake. Push this here. And then the intake basically takes an air for the jet. If you put the compressor here, it compresses it. Let me get a button. Right, so this button and the throttle. Come on, there we go. Uh, throttle isn't going to use yet. Compressed here. Or, uh, I don't know if I spelled that right, but uh, yeah. You put this here. Yeah, I guess it did. Um, that'll turn on the compressor. It's like the starter. It uses lots of electricity and, um, you know, it starts it up, the whole jet. So then you have this, the combustion chamber. It combusts. And, uh, that's where you connect the throttle. It's like, where you also put in the fuel. So you get a tank right here. So, no, that's too big. I'm sure a small one will suffice. Um, send that to jet fuel. You have to make sure that you're using jet fuel, otherwise the jet will not start. Now, there are two different things. There are two different turbines. So, the small turbine is smaller. It is, yeah, it's in the name. And then there's the medium turbine which has an RPS output. Now you could connect it to like a helicopter because you know it has some helicopters use jets. You could connect it to a generator to generate electricity and so on and so forth. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be using a small jet turbine. And then there are two exhausts. The afterburner has an afterburner. So it provides additional thrust as you can see here in the description, a jet exhaust that can burn additional fuel for increased output. Um, it has spoiler. Let me explain spoiler after this. Um, so for the... You have to put more fuel because it's burning more fuel. But for the purpose of the tutorial, we can also be using the small one here. Now, there is something else called the spoiler. So, imagine a spoiled little kid. You take away that little kid's toys, right? And he like, ow. That's basically what the spoiler is like. If you raise it up, actually no, a clutch would probably be a better analogy. It's like a clutch. The higher it is, the less it'll output. So if the spoiler is at one, it'll output nothing. So, and it's very useful for controlling like the speed. So, alright, so let's just get the battery. Connect it here, 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 here. And let's get a wheel. Alright, um, spawn that. Alright, so we have our jet. That is a that is a push button. Need a toggle. All right. Uh, I just do this because why not? All right. So let's go over here. Let's raise the spooler so it'll make fire. All right. So something important to note is that when the air pressure, the air pressure, as you can see here, there's an air pressure. When the air pressure reaches 8, that is when the jet will turn on, and it will rise very fast. Do not set your jet to 1, because I will demonstrate right now, it will explode. Oh god. 
Oh, well, it ran out of fuel, but if you set your jet to one, it will explode, I have found out. So, you know, I find 0.5 to be a good throttle. Oh, shoot. Right, so you can turn off the compressor now that it's on. So it's going to start getting air pressure. It's start getting RPS and start accelerating and stuff. Jets, fuel is increasing. And we're off. So the jet will now fly away. Um, there is no control on it right now. But yeah, that is how you build a jet. So just to remember, when the air pressure reaches 0.8, it will activate the jet, assuming that there is enough fuel. Oh, and also, uh, why am I in the editor? As you can see, where is it? Uh, oh, let me check the map. Oh, right there. Okay. The, oh, wait. Where is it? Okay, it doesn't matter. When the jet goes in water, it will stop working. Um, yeah, don't let the jet go in water. And the jet, I have found also, will not perform very well in a sealed environment. I will now demonstrate. So, let's go ahead and seal the jet. There we go. Okay. So, the jet will now be turned on. Alright, jet's on. It is in a sealed box. There are no holes. You see even in the bottom. Um, it's not gonna go as fast. See, it's barely moving. It will still go, but it's much better to have it in an unsealed environment. Oh, and it's off. Let's see, where is it going? Oh, that's where the other one went. Oh, yeah. When it um, gets damaged or explodes or it gets in water, the smoke will turn black. Anyways, that concludes this storm tutorial on how to build a jet. Thank you for watching.